Okay, this is exciting news, and Chris already did a video on this, so I'm not going to go super into my thoughts on what what I feel about the Lions getting new uniforms, but here's what I am going to do. I want to talk and even show what the new uniforms could look like. So here's a couple of the rumblings that we've heard. We hear that the details and info is going to be coming soon on the new uniforms, but what I have heard, and I wanted to do a video on this earlier, but there was a leak that was talked. I, I think it was a little bit by Campbell, right? Where he talked about how it is going to be, the uniform is going to have the current logo. The brass kind of said, we want the current logo, but we want to do a throwback of sorts of what the old uniforms look like. So here's what I'm wondering. And this was announced during the game. I don't know if any of you caught it during the Thanksgiving game when they were talking about the throwback jerseys and things like that. So I want to go over a few different pictures um, of what the new uniforms could look like based on what old uniforms look like. And then we might even go a little bit down a walk down memory lane of what some of the old uniforms look like in general. And it might just get kind of be fun. So here's what the, this is what I'm going to go back to first is the 1950s uniform. This is our throwback uniform that we wear. And I just kind of want you to imagine this uniform. See, this is uh, from a website that actually gives like the database for all this. This is a website. This was worn in 1957. We were 81 and uh, or eight and four. We won the Western Conference playoff, defeating San Francisco. <laughs> What's up? All right, and we were NFL champions after defeating the Cleveland Browns. So we won it all this year. This is that very simple blue jersey, gray letters, gray pants. Simple. Um. This was kind of unique, to be honest with you. But then it got me thinking, like, what are some of the other Lions uniforms that I really like? So we go to 1962 when we introduced the Lions logo, and we get a little stripe here on the sleeve, both on the white and the blue. That's kind of cool, but we add the new logo. So when you're seeing these, I want you to imagine the helmet instead being our current Lions logo. So that would be exciting to me. And then there is what my own personal preference would be. And we can go through a couple of the different iterations. 1975, the color changed. So we have a completely different color. And what this might be um, early on, what I view as the best form of the Lions jersey. And here's the reason I say that. They did with the blue jersey a white outline around the gray number. What that white outline around this gray number, you can see it right in here on the ones, right? What it does is it allows it to pop. That number now pops a little bit where I feel like with the current jerseys, there's nothing necessarily wrong with them. I like the current jerseys. What I don't like about the jerseys is that the gray number is just a gray number. It doesn't pop. You can't see it that well, and it kind of gets lost. So in 1975, we added, we changed the color a little bit to get more of that true, true Honolulu blue, but we also added that pop. And then I was like, you know what? Let's go back to the last time we had a really, really um, fun year. The last time we won a, a playoff game. We won the NFC Central, and this you can see is a jersey that is very similar to the other one, except now it's white numbers with a gray outline. So this is a, this is the time when we beat the Dallas Cowboys. We won the NFC Central. We went 12-4. and Eric Kramer was the quarterback on this team. So I thought that was kind of a fun iteration through the 90s, and that is the jersey that I would really, really like to see come back if I'm being completely honest. And, and, and basically the lions through that time, see still the same. Um, you can see Charlie batch right now, 1998, right? Not doing well. Um, but anyways, uh, these are the kind of things that, that you might be looking for. Cause they said they wanted to do an older one. So I figure, Hey, we're, we're here. We're talking. What one of those do you like? If we know they're going to go back to an older uniform, that's fine. But now what I, I kind of want to do right now is something that's a little bit of fun, to be honest with you. And this is the evolution of the Detroit lions uniform. Um, and it's on NFL.com. And I just thought it might be kind of fun for me to share this with all of you and we can go through it together. So, Hey, we're looking at these new uniforms. It's looking good. Let's just kind of go all the way to the beginning. Um, and this is, these are our current 
uniforms, which is fine. And every once in a while, we're going to have to deal with, with ads, but these are the, the current ones. Um, and quite frankly, like it's moving backwards. So then we get into 2016. You guys remember those ones when we had the black outlines with it? Um, we had the actual black jerseys. That was kind of nuts to see. I didn't love these. I didn't love the blue on the patch. I didn't love the black outline of the numbers. Um, I didn't think they were terrible. I just didn't, I didn't like black. Like I, I, I don't, I think it's pretty simple. I just didn't like the black on the jerseys. I always felt they like they they looked a little bit cheap, um, and they just weren't quite there. So I hope the throwback isn't to this jersey. Now, Jason Hansen, oh man, dude always looks good in a jersey, doesn't he? But now we're gonna start moving pretty quickly here um, into the jerseys that you know it's like okay, this isn't this isn't bad. This is back to the more simple. This is a, a simpler thing, but you still have the black outlining the number. You got Corey Schlesinger there wearing the black uh, uh, underneath and Kalimba Edwards. Like, it's just, this is like a, a walk down. Oh my goodness. We didn't have a lot of talent lane. All right. So here we are in 2000, Jermaine Crowell. And this is before the first big reboot. Okay. So you have Johnny Morton. These jerseys were awesome. I love these with this helmet combination. Simple, simple. And you take a little bit away. Is that Cedric Irvin? Oh, it is. Oh, my goodness. All right. So you take away the complexity, and now you get to see Barry Sanders in it. And you remember, like, yeah, those, those were good jerseys. And that's why I really, really hope we're going to go back to kind of this era. And I think you just kind of simplify the bottom of, of the uh, – of of the sleeve a little bit because that's too much but sleeves aren't that long anymore so we understand that that's too much but this is back to 1991 um and and we're going to kind of continue rolling on here and so we we just keep going and this is what our jersey is going to be for quite some time quite some time here and and it looks good 1976 i don't know if they have a 75 photo or not of the jerseys that we were talking about um here's 74 so, man, oh, man, what a fun color that was. But this is even better. Just a little understated with it. So, like, this is the Lions, everybody. Like, their jersey has not changed that much. It hasn't changed that much. And what I like doing is this idea of let's go back to the jerseys of the mid-'90s or even 75, or even the 50s, and let's just kind of keep a very simple jersey and let that logo on the helmet speak for itself because it's a good-looking logo. So let me know what you think. What's your favorite iteration of the Detroit Lions jersey? What's your favorite combo? Would you want them to go back to that old Lions logo? I don't think they're going to. Or do you want them to keep the current logo, which is a little more modern, and go back to a nice, more understated simple Jersey. I think you can do a lot with it. All right. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.